about that. Today is Monday. We've already had quite a day today. So we woke up like normal. We did some housework. Okay. Oh, I can't seem to get you balanced. We did some housework. We did the live. We got out. We did some dashing. We got to a point where the, I had to go to a different area to do dashing. Um, but I could have. Um, if I schedule it, it's different, but I don't really want to schedule it. I want to be able to have some flexibility. So right now we're on the way to Log Boom Park. We're going to get gas on the way. You guys have been there before. Um, uh, we're going to go do some uh, uh, magnet fishing this morning. Um, I need to go throw the magnet for a few hours. It just, it helps me get better. Then the plan is, and you know how plans are, there's always subject to change. Um, I'm gonna get done and get, get home again and dried up, right? And then uh, uh, head out, either stay and do a little bit of housework if there's nothing to be scheduled in our area, door dashing, or I'll go straight to door dashing after I clean up. And then whatever happens, I'm gonna try and keep going until 10 tonight. Of course, you know, I do get tired and that kind of like ends it for me. Um, we have a phone call coming up, that's okay, it'll go away soon. Um, yeah, so that's the plan. So hey, let's go get some gas. We're gonna go to Costco, our favorite gas place. Um, I just filled up the um, Honda Fit with gas, and now it's time to fill up Subi. Um, we gotta keep Subi going too. Uh, the Honda needs to go in for service. Um, there's more money. It's an A1, so I think it's gonna. I think that one's like a hundred bucks or something like that. It's just your base oil change, filter change, that kind of stuff. I don't know, but it's around a hundred bucks. Um, uh, and then uh, this car, of course, needs some major, major work. But we're working on a few other projects first. Um, this car is still very drivable. But um, before we take off in it in April, I think we need to um, actually spend some money on it. Well, we first need to make a decision, and then we need to spend some money on it. Um, this, uh, the clouds are beautiful today. They're so interesting, I think. Um, but that's where we are in the car vehicle thing. I have no idea where I'm heading in April yet. Um, I don't want you to think that if I don't hit you on the first round that I won't hit you on other things because because I'll, I'll eventually just be going directions, right? And hook up and say hey to people and continuing on, right? That's the idea. And then I come back home and then I make some money and then I go again and make some money and go again. I need to get uh, my money book settled. Um, I need to get it all worked out. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautifully weird? They're calling for snow uh, by tomorrow. Let's hope not. But, you know, I do not go house cleaning tomorrow in snow. I canceled my house cleaning today because um, there were two houses I was ending at the first of the year. Anyways, I'm having trouble with getting the boys motivated to get where they need to be. As soon as we decided that we were going to um, close down the cleaning company, uh, they turned into 17-year-old boys instead of 17-year-old men. But you know, it's understandable, it's bound to happen. But I'm not gonna have this wake up in the morning and battle to get them to the car and then battle them to stay focused to get the house clean. I won't do that. I'll just cut the houses out and we will suffer with less money. Um, uh, we need to get focused so no matter what we do in this life, um, I think starting at the first of the year, it's simple, the house payment's first, period. First, house payment, okay? And then we go down the list of what is necessary for, for the check. And those things are second. Now, let's see. I'm in the other car. This is where all my dyslexia kicks in. Big time. It is on. No, it's on this other side. I'm wrong. Oh, see? See, see? I can't remember. I'm wrong. I want to be over here. Sorry, guys. When you can move up, my friend, but you don't have to. It's okay. I can sit behind you, too. Um, there's one up in front, proud mama. Oh, it got taken by somebody. I keep forgetting what side the gas tank's on, and I'm all wonky wonky It's okay. We'll wait. Anyway, so I think we got to get our bills in order of importance. Okay. Got to have the house payment done. Phone. Uh, uh, oh, well, car, gas, um, uh, insurance, phone, internet, electricity. What am I forgetting? And then anything else, any debt, past debt or anything like that is after that. But those handful of things have to happen. Okay, have to happen before anything else happens in our month. And I need to have those built up before I take off is the is the plan. 
That's okay, buddy. You can get around me if you really wanted to. Because my friend here could move up a whole space if he wanted to. But he doesn't want to. It's okay. That's okay, proud mama. She said proud mom of a dog. Uh, bulldog. No, it has to be uh, some uh, school thing. But uh, I forgot what air, what side this car thing was on. <laughs> it's normal. I come down here and this, this like, see, I hit that. I know I can look right here. See, right here it tells you what side side it's on. Right? The little hooker thing and the arrow thing tells you right on the gas gauge. But I usually do something else before I go, oh, hey, wait, it's on the gas gauge. Right? I know. Yeah. Grandma Kelly's rocking it. <laughs> But it feels good. What we've gotten done so far today really feels good. Um, so just saying. Lots of things to do. I'm going to leave this running during the whole time. Um, yes, while well, I'm parked badly and everything. You guys can see I kind of do what I want. I have gotten so bad at leaving my car places since I started door dashing. Because when I door dash, I pull up, put the car in, park, turn off the gas, hit the uh, hazard lights, and I leave the car and I go. I go pick up the order. I leave the car and I go, I go drop off the order. Um, I figure that way if I'm in a place that's reserved, like you know the apartment complexes that we go to and stuff like that, or somebody's business, they know I'm gonna come be right back because my flashers are on, right? I do that all the time. Um, but anyway, these guys are trying to figure it out. Those clouds are crazy. Look at that tree in the middle of it. Isn't that crazy? We're going to have one hell of a storm. Let's see if I can get two hours in. I need to get back to trying to get two hours every day out for me. But I've been working a little hard lately, and that just doesn't seem to be in the plans. But it needs to be. And I really hope this lady waits just a second for the man in front of her to go so I don't have to parallel park in between the two of them. But she's probably not going to do that. Yes, yeah, see? People think. Yeah, Mama. It's okay. I'll parallel park in between her. I can do that. You know that. I'm good at that. Um, there we go. There goes the truck. So we'll go up here and we'll sneak in the middle. But the thing is, once I sneak in the middle, often I'm sticking out too far. Oh, front guy's going to go. That's okay. We can let front guy go. Maybe a little car is going to sneak in behind me. Because, you know, once I put gas in this car, it doesn't run real well for a minute, right? kind of does this odd, choky, gassy. Ah, you filled me up with stuff again. Yes, I know. I don't know what that is. I think what I need is um, James to... Uh, Zaxon would know. I, need, I should just take baby down to Zaxon and say, God, help me. Tell me what a piece of fine automobile she is. Okay, I'm going to turn her off. I'm going to get out and get gas. What did I do with my... Purse. Oh, there's my purse. Thank God. I'll be right back, guys. Enjoy the view. Oh, by the way, these apartments, they were built on a sinkhole. Not kidding.
Okay, so the story about the buildings in front of us, because I know you guys want to know. Okay, there used to be Linwood High School now, what used to be here, which would have been really nice if Linwood High School was still in this area. Um, but anyway, you see the woods, these apartments, and then over there, you're going to, to our left, I'm going to turn here, you're going to see Home Depot. All that area was a high school. See, do you hear that, guys? The car doesn't want to stay on once I put gas in it. Um, so all this area over here, if, if I accelerate it for a while like this, then it's okay in a minute. Um, yeah, go ahead, guy. I need to accelerate for a minute. Okay, so the woods, these apartments were all here before, and then over to the left a little bit is Home Depot, right? Okay, so this used to be Linwood High School. Linwood High School now is like four. Well, I think we got it. I think we're okay now. Was is about four. Don't you dare die, you stupid thing! Come on, don't make me do the two foot thing. Okay, so see Office Depot, our Home Depot over here. See Home Depot? Okay. So we're gonna go out this way because it's gonna make my car happy for a minute to drive a little bit in the parking lot. Um. So, Linwood High School used to be all there, and now they moved Linwood High School. This isn't far from my house at all. Linwood High School is like in between four and five miles away from my house, because that's where they could find a place to build it. I'm not even sure it's actually in Linwood anymore, but it is Linwood High School. So all the kids that were going to the Linwood High School now go to the other one, far away one. All right, okay. That being said, let's go on. Okay, they noticed that the school was sinking. Okay, like badly sinking, like can't fix sinking. Okay, so they went in there and decided they had to move the high school. They condemned the high school, shipped the kids out to all the different schools, um, and then decided that they couldn't fix it after, you know, playing around for a while. Can't fix it, can't fix it, can't fix it. That's okay, they can't fix it, right? So then they spent time and money. I mean, it's not mine, it's not, you know, they sold the property. I'm sure they sold it for a bargain. And whoever bought it spent a lot of time on it. They spent a lot of time re-engineering it, playing with it, doing all kinds of stuff with it. This whole area in front of us, all this is marshy. It's all marshy, right? So it's no wonder that the high school was sinking because they built it right on top of the marsh and didn't shore it up right. Okay. Now, you see those apartments they built in it? And then a whole Home Depot and everything. Costco came in here and people thought Costco was stupid crazy. But Costco built to the back where it wasn't sinking. And that whole area used to just be fenced off forever. And the water would drain and they moved the dirt around. The water would do this and move dirt around. The water would do this and they moved dirt around. All that kind of fun stuff, right? And then they go put those really tall apartments. I mean... Okay, they're not really, really super tall or anything like that. But for, for heaven's sakes, for being built on swampy, sinking land, really? I would never buy an apartment or live in those apartments. Ever. I'd be always too worried about it um, sinking. Okay, what is that funny blue light again? We have that blue light again, guys. Ah, it's okay. You'll live with the blue light. Am I being traced? Is it, am I being watched? Ooh, now look at it. You moved all the way over to the other side. How weird. Something's watching me. You know, it's a reflective of something, but I don't know what it is. I don't know where that blue light is coming from. It's okay. Try to ignore it. I'll ignore it. You ignore it. We'll ignore it together. Okay. But yeah, and look at over here to the left. This is all the wood mall. Okay, the mall is failing. Most malls in the United States, or most malls in the world are failing. Okay, they just doesn't, doesn't people don't go shopping like they used to. Um, so they're trying to change the way they are. So here we have light rail coming in. So look at these apartments they put in the mall. Avalon went in and put it. I don't know if these are going to be condominiums or if these are going to be apartments. But I think Avalon is apartments. Right in the mall. Now the food places do pretty good in the mall because people come together in, to eat, right? <laughs> the food courts do well because you can take your whole family and everybody can choose different things to eat. But man, those are some big big uh, apartments. We have tons of apartments going in over here. Just tons. And it's because of the light rail. It's going to be interesting. Look at these clouds. So cool. Anyway, we've been living in this world of construction forever here. Forever, it seems like. And 
and then it's not even the uh, light rail's not even scheduled to be done till 2024 or thereabouts. You know those main streets right outside my house are just full. Oh, people are getting in accidents. Look at that one. Well, I'm not going that way, so we're okay. People drive nice. The water is cold. The ground is slick. Drive nice, peoples. Come on. Come on, come on. Your grandma's telling you to get it together. Ooh, I wonder if we're going to get close enough to this trailer for me to show you this trailer. Uh, probably not. But for my, my, I want to call it a, a go trailer. See that trailer up there? That's something like that. That's like what I want. See the doors open. I don't want the door to fold down though. I want the back doors to open, swing open. Somebody might be able to convince me of that differently. And then I want a door on the side too to get in and out of. But I don't want to sleep in there. We'll see. I want that to be my workstation. It have my bike in it. It has would have Starlink in it. It have um, uh, my kayak in it. It'll have my solar in it. It'll have all my batteries in it. It'll have all that stuff. And then I want to hook it so I can hook the battery to the car in the trailer so I can unhook it and hook it so I can take each one of the cars um, down, get a tow package on it and, and you know a ball and all that on it and depending on where I'm going and where who is going we could use what trailer right so I'd like one of those and I think I would like one of the uh, teardrop not really so much for me to use but other people to use because I don't see me using the teardrop uh, I'll just sleep in the car but I'd rather sleep inside the Subaru itself or inside the car itself than in a utility trailer because it's kind of like to me it already feels too boxy but if we could put a, a fold down desk in it or something like that would be would be great so I could actually be somewhere open the doors comfortably sit in there with all my equipment and gear and um, yeah and uh, actually uh, uh, use it as like a mobile office, mobile hotspot, a mobile, you know, whatever, right? And then it, then I also have my gear in it, but I also want a slit space to throw in the, um, that, that, that can maybe slide out and be clean to throw in uh, uh, the garbage I get as I go. So I can then take it somewhere and get it and sort it out and, and get the garbage out, but some sort of big heavier rubber made type thing that I could actually pull completely out and hose off and scrub up if I need to. Right? You understand what I'm saying? Um, maybe I could do something that kind of had a top on it or something like that. I don't know how anything would fit. But I could also just too have a little metal saw in there and if something didn't fit, I'd just stand there right there and cut it up and throw it in, right? And, I, and then I could go and, you know, dispose of everything properly as I'm on the road. That was part of my thought. Lots of thoughts. Um, I would be okay sitting in there with the doors open and it would, oh, it has to also have a one of those heater air conditioner things. I forget what they're called. The two somethings or another. I can't. Oh, why can't I remember some of the things? Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, mini split, right? Called a mini split. Also have one of those in the up here on the left. We're gonna turn the corners. The the um, Land Rover place has a hashtag freedom. It's always good. Yeah, I don't know if I could sleep in there because I don't think I could breathe. You know, there was talk of being able to put a window in the side of it, which might help, which might be okay. But I get too claustrophobic. It would also be nice to uh, have some sort of potty on it, <laughs> right? So I could go potty. But I don't think I'm going to be anywhere. Anywhere where I'm... Well, you know what I could do, too, is have some sort of, like tent thing portable outhouse so when I get somewhere I can have my little portable potty and have an enclosed pop up tent thing that's very easy to stand up in but not very big that it just sort of went around like an out like an outhouse would you know and I could, I could uh, put up the tent and pop in there and go potty and pop out and leave that right outside my, my uh, trailer when I'm parked somewhere that would work I know we'll figure it out because I think in the in the beginning I won't be doing any you know I definitely won't do any mountain by myself BLM or BML or whatever the, that's called land stuff where nobody knows where I am ever 
by myself because I, I'm not ready for that by myself. Um, also too, oh, as far as the utility trailer and all that, um, I want several trackers on it somewhere hidden inside it. I want high security on it. I want to know if somebody opens it that's not me or or my my uh, uh, technician, we'll call him. Uh, I want to um, be able to track it if somebody steals it, quietly track it and find it. All right, and if I have Starlink and all that in it, it should be pretty simple, but I want something hidden actually in it. Maybe have a little door in the side or something underneath one of the cabinets or a couple of them. So that if somebody's gonna think they're gonna deactivate my trailer, they're not, and I'm gonna find them and I'm gonna beat them. No, I wouldn't do that. Man, smack them and send them in a corner in a round room. I could do that. That would be more crap killing. Um, but yeah. So I, I can be concerned about security, but not overly concerned about security. And I'm sure that that the people I'm thinking of can put trackers in many things. Like, you know, in your in in inside your your Starlink somewhere where somebody wouldn't know it was there, so they couldn't just disable it. I mean they wouldn't know to look to disable it, right? Um, uh, I don't think at first I'll be spending any time anywhere way off the road by myself, so that's okay. I will eventually. Or if I am have a travel buddy, I will with a travel buddy. Um, we'll see. But the idea is to get as independent as possible, and I'm going to use Busby, because why not? I probably say his name wrong. He said every, Chris says everybody says my name wrong. It's Busby, Busby, whatever. I say it with his E. It's okay. He knows I'm talking about him. But like his house isn't huge, right? But I want to come visit him, but I don't want him to have the burden of having to have me find some place for me to sleep, because I just don't want that. I, I don't want, to, I'm going to travel with a dog, right? At least one, if not two. We'll see what we can do with Ollie Mae. I don't want anybody to have the burden of having to house me or, you know, uh, Oregon Magnet, uh, Oregon Family Magnet Fisher Scott. He's amazing. Okay. Um, they don't have room. But he made room for me to sleep on the couch. He, he was actually going to sleep on the couch and I got to have the master bedroom. But I was like, I'm not going to displace anybody like that either. I want, I want my visits to be stress-free, okay? I want my visits, whether they're, they're like two days and we're going fishing and filming and fishing and filming and fishing and filming, right? Or, or, or metal detecting and, and filming places or just exploring and filming. Um, I want my visits to be very little stress on people. Or if it just means I pop by my, your house and give you a hug and give you a sticker pack and stuff like that and take a selfie with you. Or if you have time and I can steal you for lunch, you know, or, or, you know, just anything like that would be great. I can be as little or as much to a point. I do not want to stay with somebody for a week. Um, uh, uh, I might stay at an event for a week, but because that's enough people to go around and film and get all kinds of stuff. Um, uh, but I want to be able to set up my, my mobile office. Let's call it that. I don't know what to call it yet the rig <laughs> set it up and um, disappear in there and, and do some work while I'm out because I am working right I am working but I wanted to have solar and everything solar panels on the top or something like that and then I want it somehow to be able to connect even though it's on the back to be able to click something together and it hooks up to the engine to charge it too. That's my thoughts. You guys were going through a place called Briar. I used to live here. Um, it's in Briar is an interesting place. I actually kind of like it, but lately it's full of million dollar homes again. Okay. Um, all the cities around Briar for a long time have all tried to incorporate it into their cities, and Briar's like, yeah, hell no. Uh uh, we don't want to be part of you. <laughs> Yeah, they have their own uh, police department and stuff, and I don't think they have. I don't think Briar has a fire department. I think they use the county or the ones around it. I'm not sure. Maybe they do, but they have their own police department and stuff, and they're just like, yeah, no, we don't want to be part of you. Uh, -uh go away. <laughs> we 
we are us. Stay away from us. So right now it's like 10.55, it's gonna be after 11. So maybe I'll stay here as long as one. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. We'll see. But it would really do my soul good to keep getting out. I've been kind of laxing on that. Okay, yeah, also a little word of advice, my friends. You're in Briar, you're doing the speed limit. We're gonna. There's another place we're gonna roll into just for a split second. Oh no, we'll be too far down from it. Oh no, right, it's probably right in front of us. And over to the right is called Lake Forest Park. That's another one where 25 means 25, not 26. They've given you tickets for stuff like that before. And the machines, all the machines give you tickets for that. <laughs> 30 or below, or boom, you get a ticket. I know they're not going to negotiate or discuss it with you. You will pay your ticket. I know there's lots of arguments about, you know, those cameras not being right and that kind of stuff, but they don't care. Um, where we're going, uh, Lagoon Park is, um, we've been there recently, is down on the um, Lake Washington. Not far from uh, the boat launch in Kenmore where I like to drop the kayak. That slew that we went up a few times that I can't really wait to go up for a whole day and I just explore. Go until I hurt so bad that coming home is a problem. Because <laughs> Kelly never overdoes stuff, does she? Need to slow my roll, baby. Slow my roll. I'm not yet crawling. I'm going a little faster than a crawl. That's not okay. <sighs> Everything's so wet. We had an epic hail storm. We're talking about it at the gas station before yesterday. Some guy rolls in with his truck all totally covered with snow. He's just over to the east of us when he came in. So that would be Cascade Mountains. You know, Cascade Mountains really aren't that far from us. Um, a few minutes, actually. You can get to the Cascades pretty quick here. Sunshine's gorgeous. It makes the um, clouds really cool looking, I think. I didn't bring my very heavy jacket. I just have my hoodie. Hopefully, I'll warm up enough. It, like, all the time when I bring me my other jacket, I get too hot. And then, of course, I didn't bring a hair tie or put up my hair. And you have those other things I usually do. So, I don't know why. I'm just, I feel like I'm in a hurry to get out here today. And I need to just chillax because life is going to happen as life happens, right, folks? It's always as life happens. But if it starts getting really stormy again or snowing, we'll just leave, go clean up, dry up, and then go do some more door dashing. something. Uh, they have a full size swimming pool in there for dogs. I told you we live in the area that couples have more dogs than couples have kids. It's 11 o'clock now. If I'm missing you guys' stuff, I'm really sorry. I'm I'm in this work mode lately and I, I need to really get working. Need to get things done for change. Right? 
It'll be worth it, you guys. Hang with me next year. You guys are going to see some beautiful stuff. Places you've not gone before. Really pretty stuff. I've always hated this one. Oh, I have to be way over here, too. Hold on, hold on. The dog cage is going to slide. Oh, it's going to be slippery, too. Oh, I'm in the bad car. Oh, that's okay. Nobody came in the lane, so I didn't run them over. Log Boom Park, that's where we're at. See it? Log Boom Park. They had this closed down for so long for construction. I would really like to park on the other side, so let's do that. And they rebuilt the park and put in a new potty and all that stuff. I can't remember just the last time we were here if, if it felt all new. Also, up, up on the side there is Burt Gilliman Trail. That's a walking bicycle trail. You can go forever and ever and a little bit longer than ever. And you notice I didn't bring a dog with me. He's not ready to sit down and behave while I, um, while I magnet fish. So he'd be yapping at everybody and we got to work on that. And I think we'll get better at that. Yeah. So, okay. Off we go. We're done. Let's get unloaded. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay.